Hello and welcome to Mail Time number 14, I think it would say it in the title. And as you can probably guess, this video is about mail. I haven't done one of those in quite a while, so today when I got not one, not two, not three, but four packages, I was like, okay, it's time. It's finally time to get back to the game. So let's open these packages, shall we? Package number one. It's a lovely brown box with a pull pulley thing that opens quite easy. <gasps> Book number one is The Falconer by Elizabeth May, which is a new series, or actually, funny story, this book has been out in the UK for quite some time now, but I wanted it in hardcover and the UK version only came in um, paperback and I wanted the hardcover like I said so I waited until the US release which is today so I pre-ordered it and now I have it and it's one of those smaller size books which is kind of weird but whatever I'm very excited I read the blurb quite a while ago so I don't exactly remember what it's about but I do know that the main character protagonist as you can tell by the knife is some sort of an assassin type person I don't know but I'm very excited to read it and yeah let's move on to the next package next we have a lovely yellow envelope oh that was awesome cool that features attachments by Rainbow Rowell which is um I haven't read anything by Rainbow Rowell, but this is the book of the month for the Booksplosion Book Club, which, if you don't know what that, that, what that is, I mean, I don't know how to answer that question, but basically it's a bunch of booktubers who decided to create a book club, and there's a Goodreads page where I, I will just link, link it down below so you can check it out if you want. They also have a Twitter page, which is pretty awesome, and every month, they read a different book and then there's a live show where they discuss it and it's pretty awesome and I've been meaning to read the books that they read and something always came up and with the reading club that I've been in it just hasn't worked out and this is the newest book uh, so I'm very much looking forward to it and it's not a long book either so I'm very excited to read this actually this is probably next on my to do not to do list, to my to read list. Yes, this is the next book I'll read. Moving on to the next little yellow package. We have an even smaller book, which is Time for Kids, Science Scoops, Earthquakes, They Make the Ground Shake, which is a really tiny book with lots of pictures. And you guessed it, this is the next book for my Into Books program, which I'll be reading Oh, that won't take me all that long. And uh, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, yeah. And last but not least is a bigger, lovely brown box. Pulley stringy. Oh, that came out perfect. Did you see that? And that has two books in it. Oh, yeah. So we have After the End by Amy Plum and... Ornament 14 Savage Drift by Amy Leiborn, not sure how to pronounce that. This is actually the third book in the Monument 14 series. I have not read the first two and I, in fact I don't have them. But when I saw this and I saw that the premise for the series, I was like, hey, this sounds really interesting. I kind of want to read it and uh, I pre-ordered it then and I was hoping that I would get the first two before then but that hasn't happened yet but it will and I will read it and it will be awesome but basically it's kind of like a apocalyptic type of book where the apocalypse is upon them and there's a bunch of people who have gathered in a superstore or supermarket or something like that in order to survive and I don't even remember what else is about but it sounds really cool I mean it's kind of like a survivalist type book and I really like those so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this series and then the other book is After the End by Amy Plum 
who wrote the Revenants trilogy, which I really enjoyed. So when I saw that she has a new book coming out, I was like, hey, I'm gonna pre-order that and get it when it comes out. And I don't really know much about it, but the cover is really pretty. I really like those clouds. But yeah, see on the back it says, Before me lies a city. It is not in ruins. It is a thriving city with modern glass buildings glistening in the late afternoon sun. People are walking down its streets. Cars that look brand new are driving down the roads. This is not a post-apocalyptic wasteland. Where am I? What is going on? So, uh, maybe it's another survivalist type story? I don't know. Is it one book or is it a series? I don't know. But I'm looking forward to reading it anyway. So five books today, all of which I'm super excited about. These three are basically part of my May TBR and these actually I might even read after the end if I get to it. Though lately I've been reading slow so I might not get to it, but I'll try. And then I need the first two books in the Monument 14 series in order to read that. So Hey, on the bright side, I'm definitely going to read two out of, I mean, three out of the five books that I just received. So, you know, it's not that bad. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want me to specifically, like, individually review any of, the, of these books and I will make a video for them. Otherwise, I'll probably do mini reviews in a wrap-up in whichever month I end up reading them. Also, what books are you looking forward to this month? I mean, there's a lot of nice books coming out this month, right? So yeah, let me know in the comments down below and I will see you soon. Bye!